You are going to open your mouth and say, Father. Lord. Say, Father. Father. Let the mantle you have prepared for me. Let the mantle you have prepared for me. Fall on this ground tonight. Fall on this ground tonight. Let the mantle you prepared for me. Jesus, mighty name, we pray. Listen, listen. For every assignment, there is a mantle that must be on you. There are those who so, they have a good heart. They have a good heart to promote the kingdom of God. But because the mantle have not dropped on them, they lack the power to be able to do that thing. Every time they see that their heart is hungry to promote God's work, but their pocket is lacking, there is a mantle that needs to fall on you that will make you to be able to. There are those who are supposed to be kingdom intercessor, and yet you are still praying five-minute prayer. Jesus requested of the disciple. He said, could you not just wait with me for one hour? Minimum one hour you can't do in a day. And God is putting a burden in your heart. Say, you are a kingdom intercessor. There is a mantle for a destiny to be fulfilled. The battle for mantle is a real battle. You are going to pray again. The second time you are going to God, say, oh Lord, my maker. Oh Lord, my maker. Let the mantle you prepare for my generation. Let the mantle you prepare for my generation. Let the mantle you prepare for my tribe. Let the mantle you prepare for my clan in the spirit. Let it fall on this ground. Don't be weak. Two more minutes in that prayer. Mantle of fire. Mantle for generation impact. Fall on this ground. Fall upon me. Jesus. Mighty name we pray. That mantle of fire is coming upon you tonight. Say, I receive the mantle for generational impact. Everyone open up and give me the mantle. I Zebra take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. Aha. I see God clothing people. I see clothes, 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 clothes like mantle. Fire is coming upon people. Ta 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 ta. Clothes of fire. Clothes of fire. Clothes of fire. Garments have been changed. Aha. Clothes of fire. Clothes of fire. Until the mantle is changed, until the mantle comes, you keep doing the same thing. Stretch your hand. Take it. Take it. Take it. There is financial mantle. The mantle to finance the work of God. Aha. Uh -huh. Take it. It's on this ground. The heavens are open. Yes, ever release mantle for kingdom financier. Eloi tana shana no ti anate eli gana no payade asi anatai takapai erota kapaida. Aha, aha, aha. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Jesus, mighty name. We pray. Give your hand to the Lord tonight. Have your seat before the Lord. Oh, shalom. You do mind blowing him. Amazing God. You do mind blowing him. Amazing God. You do, you, you do my glory. Amazing God, amazing, amazing God. 
somebody tell your neighbor say refire. Okay, you are not here. Tell your neighbor say refire. Are you present or absent? When there is no fire, you will be fearful. The righteous shall be bold as a lion. It takes fire to be ferocious. Many of you are in pity party of your life. Not because you don't know that God is alive. But you are fearful. Your fearfulness is because of your firelessness. For our God is a consuming fire. The Bible said, our God is a consuming. So when you don't look like God, you will be molested like a human. When there is no burden for impact. When the fire that is in you does not match your destiny. It quenches because there will be a demand that cannot be met. There will be a demand that cannot be met. There will be responsibility that cannot be delivered. It is not the fault of God. Many times, heaven is looking up to you. And you are busy looking up to heaven. Many times, heaven is looking up to you. You are busy looking up to heaven. Before heaven brought rain that looked like the hand of a man. A man stood before God. He sent the servant who had no vision. Imagine, we never heard of that servant again after that verse. Because he was a servant without sight. Amen. A servant without sight will amount to nothing. The Lord sent him to the sea seven times. He saw nothing. He saw nothing. There is a capacity to see. One of the greatest things that can happen to you in destiny is when God reveals you to yourself. Until you are revealed to yourself, you are not on the path to fulfill your destiny. Until you are revealed to yourself, you don't know who you are. You can assume you are a chicken today. Tomorrow you say you are a lion. Next tomorrow, your voice changes. You say you are a sheep. Who are you? Who have you come to understand yourself as? Have you seen royalty in you? Have you seen priesthood in you? Who are you? Even when the king of glory <laughs> was walking before a man, he said, lift up your head, O ye gate, and be lifted up your everlasting doors, that the king of glory might come in. The everlasting doors still asked the question, who is this king of glory? The, the reason why the enemy asks you who you are is not because they don't see. It is because they want to know if you know who you are. There are many things that are in life challenging you. They want to know either you know who you are. They want to know what what is the level of your conviction of who you are? They want to know what you have been baptized into. When your sight is affected, your life is affected. When your sight is affected, it will affect what your hand can touch. There is a prayer you need to pray that God, unless you show me who I am, I do nothing. <laughs> when, when we started, before we started this building, I said to Lord, I said to the Lord, I said, Lord, you know that I don't have any name to protect. It's your name, the name of Jesus. I said, if you don't show me this building, I am not doing anything. God needs to reveal you to you. The highest form of revelation is when you are able to see yourself. There are many of you, you have prayed, you have, you have prayed, you pray to the place of conviction that prayer doesn't work. And what does not make prayer work is inside you. It is like a story building. Some of you, it is like a cornerstone inside you. A young lady was... Asking the Lord, use me God, use me. 
Use me, oh Lord, use me. And one night, she was in a prayer camp. She went to the toilet. The first toilet she opened, the toilet was dirty. She went to the second toilet. Mm, dirty. She went to the third toilet. Mm, dirty. She turned back and began to leave. Then the Holy Spirit said, this is the reason why I cannot use you. He said, how? He said, because you are dirty. Until God reveals you to you. Some of you, it is only your laziness. It's not demon. It's not your father house demon. La your laziness. Some people, until God reveals that you, you sleep too much, you have slept away your destiny. Oh my God. Somebody's destiny will turn around tonight. <laughs> Until when God reveals to you that, see, you, if you continue to sleep like this, your destiny will slip off your hand. You, are, you have thought it's the devil. You don't know there's so much more problem with the flesh more than the devil. Because without the flesh, there's no devil. Without the flesh, there's no room for God. Without the flesh, there's no room for the devil. In the life of a man to operate in this realm yes God is spirit amen God communicate to the spirit of man but when God communicate to the spirit of man how does he now operate in the physical realm he has operate through the flesh in Zechariah chapter 3 and verse 1 and he showed him Joshua the high priest Standing before the angel of the Lord and Satan standing at his right hand. Satan standing at the right hand. The Lord showed him who he was. So Joshua was in a vision and he saw himself. Joshua was in a vision and he saw himself. What have you seen about yourself? Your inability to see will affect what you touch. There is the power of vision, there is the power of revelation. Amen? Amen. A power of what? Vision. Do you know why people are being taught the same truth again and again and again? It is because it has not become a revelation. It has not become what? When it becomes a revelation to you, you become a teacher of it. When it becomes a revelation, you become what? A you, become the, you, you become a teacher. There is a revelation you need to receive for you to walk in certain realm. There is a revelation you need to receive. There is a vision you need to see of yourself. There is a conviction and vision. This is what will guarantee the mantle that you carry that it will fall on you. No mantle, no fire. No mantle, no what? The mantle that fell down from Elijah from the chariot of fire. Don't you know it carries fire? Oh, yagaba, yagada. You think it was, it, it is now an ordinary cloth. It carried what? Fire. No mantle, no fire. And once there is no fire, there is no good thing you want to do that the devil will not stop. When you receive the mantle, you begin to operate in the dimensions of your fathers. You begin to operate in the dimension of your tribe in the spirit. There are the tribe of the givers. There is the tribe of the intercessors. The kingdom builders. You need to see. Tell your neighbor, say, you need to see. Many of us are not serious enough to actually convince God that we want something. Many of us are not serious. We, we feel we are serious enough. I told you about the power of consistency. 
many of us are not convinced enough that God actually answered prayer. Even though you have seen answered prayer, but you are still not what? Convinced enough. There are things you do with God. You tell him, it is either I die here or you answer me. Your inability to see will affect what you touch. Your inability to see will affect what you get. Unto them that are within, it is given to know. That knowing is not knowing by knowledge. It's the ability to see. To see into what belongs to them. And when they see these things, they press into it. Into the reality of it. Oh God, reveal myself to me. Some of you will see the reason why you are not married to you now. Oh God, reveal myself to me. Some of you will see the reason why you are always struggling financially. You think it's God's fault? <laughs> Let man be a liar and God be God. God never lies. God never mock people. He doesn't mock people. Oh God! Reveal myself to me. You will see the reason why that family pattern is like that. Reveal myself to me. You will see the reason for your rising and falling. Reveal myself to me. Your inability to see will determine what will happen around you. you until God reveals who you are to you. Until God. Look, because a lot of things will depend on you. A lot will depend on you. The faithfulness of God is a constant in the equation of our work with him. The faithfulness of God is a what? Constant in our work with God. It is our faithfulness that is questionable. When God begins to reveal yourself to you, you will know what is going wrong. You will know where to go. In Jeremiah 10, 23, he said, Oh Lord, the way of a man is not in himself. It is not a man that walketh to direct his step. You have exercised your human knowledge for a long time. You have experienced failure and you are still practicing the same thing. Why is in your own eyes the precept of God are there for you? You refused it. What are the things that make the battle for your mantle to be difficult? Spiritual resistance. Somebody say spiritual. spiritual. Resistance. And he showed him Satan at his right hand to resist him. This is where many of us, we think this is everything. Many of us blame it all on Satan. Amen. Satan standing at his right hand to resist him. What is it? When Satan stands at the right hand of a man, nobody favors him. The right hand of God is help. The right hand of God is favor. The right hand of God is power. The Bible said the right hand of God has become glorious. The right hand of God is power. So, Satan standing at the right hand of a man, it incapacitates the power of God from resting on the man. That is why you pray and pray and pray and your prayer is powerless. 
because the actual power of God cannot work with you as long as Satan is standing at your right hand. Until he showed him Satan at his right hand. Satan could not be rebuked. Kali Kapayada. I don't know how many people are here tonight that Satan is standing at your right hand resisting you from becoming what you ought to be. Today, Satan will leave your right hand. I said, there shall be no room anymore for Satan in your life. In Psalm 109, and verse he says, set thou a wicked man over him. This is the prayer of David for some of his enemy. He said, and let Satan stand at the right hand, at his right hand. When he shall be judged, let him be condemned and let his prayer become sin. When Satan is standing at the right hand of a man, his prayer will become sin. He will be running from sin, his life will become sin. Oh, I don't understand why this place is so quiet tonight. He will be running from sin, his life will become sin. As much as he's dodging sin, he will become sin. As much as he had sin, sin will find him. As much as he's fighting sin, sin will dominate him. Because Satan is at his right hand. He loves God in his heart, but Satan is at his right hand. His life has become sin. When Satan starts at the right hand of a man, nothing works. When you hear, it is working here. Take them there. Nothing works for them because Satan is at their right hand. There are people that are like Satan standing at your right hand. God will reveal the heart of men to you. Okay, that is for those that said amen. There are people who will do nothing and they don't want you to do anything. When it is working for you, they want to stop you because they are like Satan at the right hand. They are like Satan at the right hand. Nothing is working for them so they don't want you to work. There are people who are jealous people that are not doing the same business with them. They are not running the same business but they are jealous of people that are running that business. There are people who are jealous of people living in another house. They are not, they are not neighbors. They are not smelling the soup. Maybe you said it's the soup that they are smelling in your house that make them to jealous you. There are many enemies outside the camp. That is Satan at the right hand. Every demonic man or woman at your right hand, they will fall down from you and they will never recover. Spiritual resistance is the reason why mantle of fire don't rest on people. Spiritual resistance. Spiritual resistance. See, if we leave this one now, he will now be better than us in the family. If we leave this one now, he will now dominate all of us in the family. Let us kill him. Let us do what will reduce him. Let us do what will make him not to be able to pursue God the way he's pursuing God. These are satanists at the right hand. Spiritual resistance always kills the mantle of fire. They know your weakness. That is why every month they must bring fights to you. Every month they must do for what will make you angry. Satan standing at the right hand to resist him. God had to show him. For the destiny of Joshua, the high priest... To be free. I don't know what you need to see. For you to enter. Look. Let me let you understand something. There is nothing you enter into. In God. Without seeing it first. Are you here? Anything you enter into physically. Or physically. Without seeing it. You will fall out of it without knowing you don't know the value of it you will lose it without knowing there are many people who have lost their destiny because they don't know what they carry 
they didn't know. They didn't know what they carry. They would not have been shortchanged. They didn't know what they carry. The battle of children has made some people to shortchange their future. Let my child not die. Some, so many children start have been stolen. Let my child not die. It's better the child die than for the star to be stolen. Are you God? I want baby by force. Has made many people to give back to demons in human forms. <laughs> I, I know of a woman in this church. God used me so much for this family. But the, she was living practically with a demon. A demon. When I saw one of the child, I said, this one is not a child. This one is a grandfather in the spirit. And God entered the mouth one day. The, the young boy of less than six years was talking. He said, we've been sucking our blood. We've been sucking our blood. She wa he was saying different kind of things. In that same house, he used to go to a meeting in Ilori. <laughs> in Lagos, yeah, he would go to Ilori. Without transport. No transport. You go to a meeting in Lori and come back. Don't you like those kind of transportation? <laughs> yeah. Before Jesus come, some of us will transport without money. Where did they get the power from? He said, all power has been given unto me. All power in heaven and on earth has been given unto me. You think it is which is the Honda power? Very soon, men of God will disappear. You will say it's, it's juju. You don't know the kind of anointing we need in this time. The kind of anointing we need in this time is the kind of the mosaic anointing. It's a gross darkness shall cover the earth. Darkness cover the people. So you think it's ordinary touch light you need. Spiritual resistance is what makes people not to be able to carry the mantle that belongs to them. Because Satan is at the right hand. What makes people not to carry their mantle? Their mantle of fire. Satan has seen what you will do. The havoc you will wreck. The havoc you are going to wreck by the virtue of the blessings of God that is coming on your life. Financially, what is going to come on your life, he has already known it. So he knows that if he leaves you, this one will cause havoc. If this one can get one million, he's ready to do to, to part with half of it and make sure the kingdom of God is going forward. And that is why the devil will give you a mentality. I told you, I said, mentality destroys more than spirituality. Amen? Mentality destroys more than what? Mentality, the reason is Jesus. Listen, after you are saved, he was speaking to the born again Christian in Romans chapter 12. He said, be ye renewed and be ye transformed by the word. Those who are already born again, they are still destructible if their mind is not what? Transformed. Do not be conformed to this world. So there is a mentality that has been developed that must be corrected. That demon that made you feel unconcerned about the things of God is a demonic mentality. It's a demonic mentality. Unconcerned. That thing that makes you unconcerned about the work of God. That thing that makes you wake up in the night and you know you're supposed to pray, but you can't pray. is a mentality. If you change your mentality, instantly your spirituality picks up. Is somebody here? There is no spirituality that works without a change mentality.
The battle of the spirit. Somebody say the battle of the spirit. The of the spirit. And the Lord said unto Satan in verse 2. The Lord rebuked thee. The Lord said unto Satan, the Lord rebuked thee. The Lord said unto Satan, the Lord rebuked thee. Oh Satan, even the Lord that had chosen Jerusalem rebuked thee. Is not this a brand plucked out of fire? How will the Lord rebuke him? The Lord said unto Satan, the Lord rebuked thee. The Lord cannot rebuke Satan except through you. In Isaiah chapter 54 and verse 17, he said, No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper. Every tongue that rises up against thee in judgment, thou shalt condemn. So it shows us automatically that Joshua was trafficking in the spirit. He was trafficking in the spirit and he knew that something was wrong with his life. There is a realm he ascended to where he met Satan standing at his right hand of ascension and he began to speak and the Lord began to rebuke Satan through his mouth. The Lord said unto Satan, the Lord rebuked thee. There are realms you need to traffic. There are realms you need to enter. That place where you see yourself that you are tied in the dream is a realm. That place where they are giving you food is a realm. That place where you are having sex in the dream is a realm. That place where you see yourself in the primary school is a realm. That place where spiritual wife oppress you is a realm. That place where witchcraft oppress you is a realm in the spirit. It's a realm. He began to traffic in the spirit. God, the Lord, began to rebuke Satan through him. The Lord rebuked him. And the Lord said unto Satan, the Lord rebuked him. So, the Lord speaking through the mouth of the Sabbath, for he that prayeth in the spirit, he speaketh not unto men, but he speaketh unto God. For the Holy Ghost giveth him what? Utterance of that which he ought to speak. The Holy Ghost give him utterance of that which he ought to speak. And as the utterance is being granted, Satan is being rebuked. Many times, many of you have tried to call God into your situation. And it seems as if God is not there. You know, the more we teach these things, the more it seems as if people are far away from it. It is a daylight robbery in the body of Christ. For any church of Jesus Christ, not to emphasize praying in the spirit. You are too limited. Tell your neighbor, say you are too limited in your understanding to fight spiritual things. You are too limited. You know too little. He was trafficking in realms and he trafficked into the realm of the Lord. Listen. In 1 Corinthians 13 and verse 1. It said even though I speak the tongue of angels and of men. Listen to me. There are realms you traffic. You speak unto angels. Amen. There are realms you traffic. You speak unto angels. And there are realms you traffic. You speak unto God. You speak unto God. As much as prayer is important, time is also important. Somebody say time, time. is also important. As much as prayer is important, time is also important. As much as time is important, the length of time is also important. The length of time is also important. Jesus speaking in God's name, he said, could you not 
just wait with me for one hour. Emphasis. Any child of God on daily basis you at least wait on him for one hour. At least that is you are too busy. And remember that the Bible said when he went into God's cement to pray, the Bible said his sweat was as blood and he, he prayed in groanings. Groanings which cannot be altered. He said in groanings, he giveth us utterance, he giveth us groanings which ordinary mind cannot captivate, which ordinary heart cannot understand. But he that searches the heart knoweth what is in the mind of the spirit. What spirit? He knows what is in the mind of your spirit. For the spirit of man is the candle of the Lord. He searches the inward part of your belly. Leave your anxiety alone. Leave your understanding alone. There are assignments that devil give to demons. There are assignments that devil take it upon himself over your life. <laughs> you can send your children to do there are things you will take by yourself even if your children do it you still go and inspect it Joshua traffic in the spirit let me let you know the reason why certain mantles are not falling is because of the level of traffic in the spirit it's because of the level of traffic in the spirit I came to a season in my life where I began to wish God, if God can rewind time so that I could have done more than I did then. Because there were things I read, I read and I believed that they were true. And I began to practice it many years ago. Now, when I began to see those things manifest, I began to say, oh, I wish I had done it more. I didn't grumble when I was even doing it. I wish I didn't even wait for double promotion. Oh, you know there are challenges that will make you to like, maybe God should just, you know when, when some of us pray, oh God have mercy, it's like, oh God carry me, jump. There is many of our problem we will pass through. Amen? Somebody say pass through. So that pass through is escape. Many of our problems too, we will break through. Amen? Many of our problems we also walk through, even though I walk through the valleys of the shadow. So none of them is without a fight. He understood the battle of the spirit. Many of you, when you do these things for a few minutes, you get exhausted, you tell God, the one you are communicating with does not exist in time. He exists in eternity. So all this time you are measuring for him is nothing. There is no time you lose to the one in eternity that you don't recover. That is the game. There is nothing. There is no disadvantage for the man who is communicating with eternity. Because he must surely gain time. He must surely gain time. He must surely gain time. A man that is communicating with eternity will always gain time. Even though it looks as if he has lost time. Shot fire. fire. Say, Holy Ghost, rekindle my fire. These things have driven many away from the altar of their prayer. Anytime you don't give God, you spend it anyway. You spend, you still spend it. But whatever you spend it for, you give account of it. Possibilities are located in certain realms. They are not the same. Possibilities are located in realms. God took Joseph to a realm. A realm in the spirit that it will take the next 13 years of his lifetime to arrive there. But God took him to that realm in a night. 
in a night he saw the possibility of the next 13 years of his life the foolish thing he did was to discuss it with the wrong people but God in his glorious way still used those ways to manifest himself there are things that you are seeing it is what you are passing through as you traffic through the realms that take you there it is what you are passing through that will take you there all you need is to traffic into that realm you can't afford to walk alone you can only afford to walk right with him many have been lost in the uncharted part of this world the way of a man is not in himself it is not a man that walketh to direct his step somebody brought a, a man to me and he said this man is good he lost me so much pastor I said eh. has he given you a proposal I said yes I shook my head I said what, I, what if I told you that he's good in the morning and bad in the afternoon he said it will change <laughs> I said don't go there don't go there he said she's, he's good I said no problem that good I saw was just five years it was just five years the good became bad there is a potency to see what is far ahead a young lady I told her last year I said there will be I see you marry even when a man has not proposed to her I said this year you will marry she said ah, I believe oh, yeah, but everything is not working fine I said are you going with your verdict or my verdict or the verdict of the Lord I said this year will not end unless you marry and I kept telling her I said do this thing do this thing come for prayer come for prayer lucky is far lucky is far lucky is far lucky is far a man of God called you and told you there will be well, you, you, you will marry this year. Lucky is far, lucky is far. A man came and proposed. Lucky is far, lucky is far. A man came to you, you chose dates. You printed flyer, you did not tell the man. Lucky is far, lucky is far, you took him. <laughs> lucky is far. The marriage is cut After he's now calling me to do magic. So that everything will come back together. I say it is gone. I say it is gone. I do nothing. In fact, if I can do anything, I won't do it. Because I don't waste my time. Tell your neighbor, say those things you have seen, you have seen. they are very real. Very real. All you need to do is to traffic in the spirit that that which you have seen will fall on you we must understand the time time of prayer is as important as prayer when you are seeking the face of God you must pray by 12 o'clock amen ok I'm preaching to you as a layman now so that you can understand certain things you must pray by what? Either 12 night or 12 noon. You must pray by 12 o'clock. The hour of 12 is what? The hour of 12 is omnipotent. When you are seeking the power of God, you must wait, you must have capacity to wait on God for at least three hours daily for 21 months. The sixth day he made man so power over the spirit amen power over the spirit is not as high as power over men <laughs> if you are seeking power over men you must learn how to wait on God for six hours 
So you think demons are more powerful than men? Is a lie. Is somebody here? No man, no demon. No man. <laughs> I put the rest in my back pocket. It's not everybody that hears that do it. Luke 16, 16, it says, From the day of John the Baptist, the kingdom of God is being preached, and all men press it into it. Press into the one you have seen. The battle for mantle. Service. Somebody say service. service. Nothing must stop you from serving God. Irrespective of every bad experiences you have in your church. If your church is not good, go and start a church of angels. There is no church without a fault. There is no church without a spot. Even from the days of Peter, James, and John, there was always an error because it is a human error. Stop condemning the church of Jesus Christ. When you draw a line that this is how far I go with the church of Jesus, you have drawn a line of how far you go with God. Anything that make you draw. There are many in the church today. They have drawn a line. I know they, I know they do. I know they do. I know they. I know they. You have drawn a line of how far you go with Christ. It's not the church of any man. It's the church of Christ. You don't draw a line. I, don't, I know they do. What is your, what is your excuse? The king of God himself, he was striped naked. Who are you? Who gave birth to you? Spiritual arrogance. It is those who will not come to midway service that are condemning those that are coming for midway service. <laughs> it is those who will not walk that are condemning workers, making life terrible for them to even walk. You have never sang one praise and worship for testimony here. The day choir does not sing, you will not dance. Why you not dance? They don't sing where. Draw a line of how far you go. If the market no good, dear park, go another place. Amen. Amen. Park without fight, without quarrel. Park. When you see yourself, greet yourself where? Why you go? Ah, Jesus, now you tell me. I mean, is it not church of Christ? It's Jesus. If I see a, there is no church that people don't leave. There is no church. No, if you like, be angel. Angel, angel Pope, Angel Pope, man of God, apostle, cut your head, serve our food. People will leave. Your heart must be big. If I see old member like this, I will greet you like, hey, hi. <laughs> you will fall in love with me again. <laughs> I will, hi, I will greet you well. Oh. The only thing I don't do is I don't go to your house. I'll ask you why you don't come again. Because I understand one thing. I need my peace more than you. I need my peace more than you. There are people that will even leave. I will stylishly do Thanksgiving that day. But you will not understand the Thanksgiving I'm doing. Service! There are those who are ordained to serve God with their money. The devil is resisting you by your stinginess, witchcraft stinginess. Witchcraft stinginess. Uh, when your tithe is too much for you, how will your seed be? How will you even sow seed? But you want God to bless you. No, you need to work for blessing. Success is universal. Without God, you can make money. So go and make it. Many years ago, when I was in the office, Many times, people will come to work, squeezing their face. This work is bad. Or God, they know they give person chance. And I know they will respect human beings. Uh, this, you don't have human feeling. <laughs> then I will tell them, you want to be a billionaire? Resign and go to Alaba. Abi, go, go. You want to be a billionaire overnight? The company is not created to make you a millionaire. It is created to make you survive. <laughs> so 
So don't complain that they are not paying you enough. From that, they are not paying you enough. That enough they are not giving you. Go and start something that will make it enough. If you know rich, leave. Don't steal. Thief! You are working in the company and you are still stealing. You are a thief. Your prayer can never be answered. There are many thieves in the house of God. Now. Contractor thief. Worker thief. Leave their money. The God that they serve will ask you for that money indirectly. You think those companies, they are not owned by some people. They will not come for their money directly. Your service must flow from your intimacy with the Holy Ghost. Your service must flow from what? Your intimacy with the Holy Ghost. One of the reasons why people serve God without reward is because they serve without intimacy with the Holy Ghost. It is intimacy that gives birth to service with reward. Without intimacy with the Holy Ghost, service is always denied reward because anybody can be used. Aya, 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 aya. They are not here. They are not hearing what I'm saying. Anybody can be used. A lecturer can deliver this sermon if I put all the Bible verse and explain it. He will even deliver it clearly without uh, going here and going here. You will just hear it. Matthew chapter 4, verse 5. <laughs> he would join the scripture where and quote it anybody can be used it is intimacy that give back to service with reward it is intimacy that give back to service that cannot be questioned by the devil it is intimacy that give that makes your impact to be transgenerational it is intimacy that makes your impact to be transgenerational that is why when you are sweeping be full of the Holy Ghost when you are sweeping be full of the Holy Ghost when you are singing be full of the Holy Ghost when you are usher be full of fire I went to a church after 15 years I went there and I met their chief usher as still the chief usher immediately my spirit said no this is wrong so this man has been standing in this church for 15 years now that is not the problem the problem was that his suit was as old as it was then oh you are not here his suit was as old as it used to be when we were small you think that is service no it's not if you don't know it I will tell you it's an error the glory of God does not only fall upon the spirit it falls upon the flesh the glory of God fell upon the flesh of Moses and they could not behold there is something glorious about even this flesh. God does not eat your flesh. Hear me. He said, I am the God of all flesh. Even before he said God of all spirit. Let your service flow from the spirit. Else you work for nothing. That is why you can be in a church. A man, of, a man approached me when we started this ministry. Because somebody had called to come and do this floor, went to steal a chicken. When he went on break. So the community gathered here and they were like almost lynching him. I said, I'm the pastor that invited him. They said, oh, you are the pastor. Oh, is this a church? I said, yes. Okay. After some time, the man came around. He said, yes, I would like to join you. I said, you are welcome, sir. <laughs> hey, this one that is loaded with only goes six cents. I said, what concert is your father's house? You can take any hole and hole. The hole they go. Nobody will stop you. He said, in my church, I've been a deacon for 14 years. And they did not even change my position. I said, is it title that does the work or the mantle? Is it title or the mantle? What are you seeking? One day I finished preaching here. The Holy Spirit told me, he said, give him my, let him share the grace. I gave him my his hand was he shared the grace and shared himself out from that day I didn't see him again <laughs> he shared himself out straight when there is no intimacy there will be redundancy when there is no intimacy there is no promotion 
you can stand as an usher and you are an apostle in the next 10 years. You can stand as a choir and you are a prophetess to the nation. You can stand as a sanctuary keeper and you are an intercessor for kingdom. Shout fire. It is the service that heaven recognizes that heaven reward. Heaven does not reward Effort, he rewards results. Heaven does not reward effort, he rewards results. I try, no, did here. It's what you did, what you did, what you accomplished. What you accomplished, that is what brings the reward. This is the reason why you can see many serving God, and after some time, when you feel, when you think, this supposed to be bringing results and it will be bringing question. From today, your life will no longer be a question but answer. I say your life will bring answers in the name of Jesus Christ. Refire in the spirit. Refire. There is a fire that needs to burn in you for your service to grow beyond the continent. There are forces that want to contain your fire. There are forces that want to contain your money. If thou will be willing and obedient, ye shall eat the fruit of the land. The way that you serve is what qualifies you for a mantle, the way you serve. It's not the way you stand. The way you serve. There were many sons of the prophet. Elisha was one of them. In fact, Elisha was one of the oldest of them. Elisha was one of the oldest of them. Yet, he was following Elijah. Not looking at age. He followed because he wanted something to drop on him. Something that is different from money. Listen, many people follow Jesus. They, they use Jesus to make money. Many people follow Jesus. They use Jesus to obtain healing. Many people follow Jesus. They use Jesus to become famous. Many people follow Jesus and they acquire the kingdom of heaven. What are you following Jesus for? There is no, once you follow him for anything that is more than the kingdom of heaven, you lose. Seek it first. Seek it first. Seek it first. All others shall be added. Seek it first. Seek it first. Seek it first. The battle for your mantle. What is the service God is demanding from you? What is the service? Listen, there is no map. You will start from a place of doing something for God. Tell your neighbor, say, you start from a place of doing something for God. When God begins to behold what you are doing for him, that may not necessarily be the perfect will of God. It may just be a permissible will of God. It is then it comes to shift you into what he wants you to do for him. No man begins by doing the will of God. You come to do something for God until he shifts you. Peter was a fisherman until he became a fisher of men. Moses was a shepherd until he became a shepherd of Israel. David was a shepherd until he became a shepherd of men. Or Saul was a lawyer of the world until he became a lawyer of Christ. He wrote one third of the scriptures, New Testament. There is something in you. Service! That's what dictates the fire. How you serve. There is nothing you do in God that you must relegate. Tell your neighbor, say, there is nothing you are doing, there is nothing you are doing. that you must relegate. If you relegate it, it's as a result of the lack of knowledge or the level of your knowledge. The person that is opening the door, if it's full of the Holy Ghost, people will not be late to church. 
there is a, a power that will draw men because he's the one. Service. I'm here to awaken you. What is the reason for the battle for mantle that kills people's fire? The spirit of excuse. The spirit of what? Excuse. There was something that was required of the women. Somebody said, the times are hard. What did I tell you in the beginning of the year? I said, it is he that owns the narrative that owns the year. So it is your narrative that will determine your year. The times are hard, it becomes hard for you. It is in this same house that I said, the Lord said to his people, he said, the times are hard for the world. He said, but I have made a way for you to get. And I asked, I said, how many of you discovered that the way you make money now is different from how you used to make money? The way money comes to you is different from, if not, you will be crying by now. <laughs> if not, you will be crying by now. He said, I've made a way for my people. It is the season of the ravens. I told you exactly what will happen this year until the month of March. The month I told you rice will go to 35,000. It was in another month it went up. Destroy the spirit of excuses. I said that since either November or December. Excuse will take you nowhere. Luke chapter 14 and verse 18. It said, and they all with one consent began to make excuse. They began to make. It didn't say there was excuse. They, you understand what it means to make? You prepare excuse. Every excuse you want, you can prepare it. There is an excuse not to pray. And my, my, I know they like shout when they pray. No shout, oh. no shout, ah, no shout. Pray CEO prayer. Your life, your problem is CEO. Continue to pray. If I if I just pray five minutes, God don't hear. Continue. <laughs> Do you know how many times Jesus said, "Go out of him"? In Matthew chapter eight, he said to the demon, "Leave him." The demon did not go. He said, "How many of you are here?" What is your name? See question before he left. <laughs> you think, whatever you think you are giving to demon as punishment, there is a greater one that is waiting for them there. So they prefer to fight you than to go and fight where is a lost battle already. No excuse! There is no excuse. There is no excuse. Your job is not an excuse. Your children is not an excuse. My children are still small. Somebody is praying for children. Somebody is praying for children. Somebody put on our WhatsApp starter. I can't be going to church every time my children are still small. I can't be going to church every time my children are still small. <laughs> I laugh. And they are so wise in their understanding. They are so correct. Incorrigible set of people. The children that come to mix with angels, you want to compare them with the children that mix with demons. Some of you, if you add this, this advantage when you are smaller to no certain understanding or mysteries, you won't be where you are today. Destroy the spirit of excuse for everything God has laid in your heart. Many of you, once you touch something, if the devil just come back, you leave. If somebody step on your leg in this church now and refuse to tell you, sorry, after service, you are not coming here again. I've seen that before. I've seen that before. I, I, I no go come to this church again. Somebody came to this service some, some months back. I think in the month, when was our month of praise? I think October. Someone was in the service and we were singing elongated praise. Unknown to me, the Holy Spirit just said, hold on, hold on, hold on. Healing was taking place as people were singing. In that same service, after we finished, somebody came to me, one of the ushers, I said, look at that woman just shouting on us that we used to stay too long in this church. 
That they look at the number of minutes they are using to sing praise and worship. She's not coming again. I said, you should have sing bye-bye to Jati Jati for her to go. The next Sunday, there were more than five testimonies of healing from that sing, that song. Then one devil will tell you, there are Satan at the right hand. You only need to know them. Yes. <laughs> Say no to excuses. When it is concerning God, we, we learn to look at time. Let your brother send you 500 naira a charge card now. You'll be angry. Now money be that. The day you owe your 500 now, you will show your neighbor that it's 500 is your offering. Intimidation. You owe 500 offering. You are, you, are, you are making somebody feel bad. That day you will not squeeze it. You will stretch it. What concern your neighbor with what you are giving? Is it the one that will reap the blessing for you? The day that you have that you didn't give, uncle. Excuses. They began to make. So excuses are made. Excuses are made. Whatever you excuse yourself from, you deny yourself of the glory of it. You deny yourself of the glory of it. They began to make excuses. They first said unto him, I have bought a piece of ground and I must need go and see it. How do you buy a land you have not seen? They began to make excuses. And I pray thee, have me excuse. Now, here the second one. Another said, I have bought five yoke of oxen and I go to prove them. I pray thee, excuse me. Another said, I have married a wife. Hear me. Therefore, I cannot come. How do you marry a wife that you have not seen? They began to make excuse. Excuse will deny you of your mantle. Excuse will deny you of your fire. Listen, many times when the Holy Ghost wake you up to pray in the night, don't think that your, the strength of your prayer is in the strength of your flesh. Amen? The strength of your prayer is not in the strength. It is not because you are saying, -da 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 -da. that's why your prayer is strong. Your prayer is not strong because your voice is loud. The strength of the spirit is in the weakness of the flesh. <laughs> he said, my strength is made perfect in your weakness. So, there are moments you are saying, tia -ta -tia -ta -tia -ta -ta -tia -ta -tia. That, that thing is traveling 10,000 miles away from where you are. And it's scattering a meeting. You are the reason why a child did not die that night. You are the reason why a child did not die that night. Shot fire. Stop making excuses. The day God said, Give the last offering in your wallet. There is an excuse that can stop you. What will I eat? I have seen many times that if you don't, if God has never taken you to a journey of emptiness. You can never start experiencing fullness until God begins to take you into a journey of what? Emptiness. Then you begin to understand what it means to be full. Nobody understands the fullness of God without passing through journeys of emptiness. Being emptied intentionally by God. Intentional. So every excuse you make is denying you the glory. I believe that somebody is coming out with a greater fire this night. You are a kingdom promoter. You must not make excuse when the demand is becoming much on you. You are an intercessor. You must not make excuse. I'm not praying for myself. And pray for the church. Nothing is happening to me. No excuse. I was a keyboardist in the church. 
no pastor have ever laid hand on me to say to, to you are blessed to become a man of God. I was a keyboardist in the church. I will fast from Wednesday to Sunday. I will fast from Wednesday to Sunday too because I want to play him. Hum, ha, hum. And as I'm playing, I will be I will be basking in the Holy Ghost. Lord, let this atmosphere transform into a realm that somebody will enter into healing. Let this atmosphere support this prophetic anointing and healing. Let it support this deliverance grace. That was my task. I was a house fellowship leader in Winners. I will fast from Wednesday. I will pray. Then and then I was a champion of three hours prayer. I was a king in my spirit then. That three hours was like 30 years prayer. <laughs> I fast for three days. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. One of the things I detest most was that what you have to preach, they have written it for you. So even if you are a Dundee, all you need to do is just to join Matthew to Mark. Then read it. But I, the hunger was too much. I can't, I can't see myself just preach. And somebody did not fall down. You have to fall. Ah, many of you know how many tears you broke in this church. No, ah, yeah. If you don't fall on Wednesday prayer, you never come. <laughs> if you did not fall, panic up! Panaba, yeah, 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 yeah. The fire go, they shake your legs off. You can't stand. <laughs> you need to come here when bench was the order of the day. <laughs> you will see people, they, some will hide under the bench. The, the anointing is a choking. But it came to a point, I know, I know this is not everything. <laughs> this is not everything. Now we don't make noise and it's still working. If I pray for you, I eat your head, you know, for uh, you must follow until you fall. That, until you fall. I won't, I won't go. That was what I wanted to see in winners. The, the Lord has said, He said, There's no room for you here. <laughs> There's no room for you here. You need to go. You need to go. Onga. Somebody say, Onga. No excuse. What are you? In Colossians chapter 3, he said, If you be dead and your life is hid in Christ, he says, Seek the things that are above. These are the things that, in the time of our great conversion, it is what will happen to us. Those of you that have the gift of hearing, you will be in Lagos, you will hear what somebody is saying in Kano. In the 1000 year reign of Jesus Christ, we will be converted into the fullness of the glory and the giftings of Christ that are manifested in minute form in this age. Then they will come into fullness. You will see that those that see vision, they will be here and they will see their village. Those that have the prophetic grace, they will just close their eyes and say, I go to Ibadan. Why some people are still driving? People will still drive then. People will still fly. Somebody will say, Ibadan, here I come. Pia. They enter. Because it is then you will understand what your fasting did to your body. It is then you will understand what you're praying in the spirit that there was an ascension. You were ascending the realm of the spirit. You were interfering with the components which you are made of. The components which reduce the material that make you to be godlike. No excuse. There is something that is beyond money. There is something that is beyond this world that is being formed in you. No excuse. You must be fireful. God needs you. His ministry needs you. Every vacuum you create is a room for the devil. Life detests vacuum. Anywhere vacuum is, something wants to fill it. Vacuum is something want to fill it up. Why would the devil not fill up people? Why won't deliverance be repeated again? Rise up on your feet. Shout Jesus. Jesus. I can't hear you louder. Reveal myself to me. Father. Reveal myself to me. Myself to Try it up, pray in the name of Jesus Christ. 
When I know who I am, my change will come. Jesus, mighty name we pray. Shot fire. Shot Jesus. You are saying, oh Lord, my maker. Oh Lord, my maker. There is something hidden about me. There is something hidden about me. There is something in the dark about me. There is something in the dark about me. Reveal myself to me. Reveal myself to me. Reveal myself to me. Reveal myself to me. So that I can fulfill this destiny. So that I can fulfill this destiny. Reveal myself to me. Reveal myself to me. Reveal myself to me. Reveal to me. Reveal my force to me. Reveal my strength to me. Reveal my strength to me. Reveal my force to me. Reveal my force to me. Reveal my strength to me. Reveal my strength to me. Reveal my weakness to me. Reveal my weakness. Reveal myself.